Now we know why WWE did not book Gunther versus Sami Zayn at Bad Blood. In this video, I'm going to tell you why they did it, why they're putting it on Raw, and why it is genius. I absolutely love it because I don't know about y'all, but I was one thinking Sami Zayn, Gunther. This is a rematch from WrestleMania. This is a huge match for both guys. Sami Zayn fans are going to be into it. They're going to want to see a title change. They're going to believe in past history. They're going to believe Sami Zayn, he beat Gunther once before, and by God, he can do it again. They're going to be heavily invested in this. That crowd in Atlanta, Georgia is going to be on fire. And they decided to book it on the post episode of Monday Night Raw. Now, don't get it twisted. This card is absolutely stacked. We got the opener, CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, Hell in a Cell. We have Bailey getting a rematch with Nia Jax for the women's title. We have the ultimate grudge match in Liv Morgan defending the women's world title against Rhea Ripley with Dirty Dom up in a shark cage. And oh, by the way, we have Finn Balor and Damian Priest. And of course, that main event, y'all, Roman Reigns working his first match back since WrestleMania, teaming up with our undisputed WWE champion, Cody Rhodes, against the bloodline, Jacob Fatu and Solo Sokoa. Now, that leads us to Sami Zayn, Gunther. Of course, Sami Zayn dethroned Gunther earlier this year to end Gunther's 666-day reign as IC champion, putting the belt on himself, Gunther taking a hiatus, winning King of the Ring, and ultimately going on to SummerSlam, beating Damian Priest and kickstarting his first reign as world champion. Sami Zayn, on the other hand, countless title defenses, a really fun feud, right? A, a, a few months, I should say. It was a fun few months. Ultimately, though, he beat Braun Breaker at Money in the Bank, yet they ran it back the following month at SummerSlam, and it was Braun Breaker who beat him for it. Ultimately, he put over Jey Uso. Heh, <laughs> that's history. Now, let's move it along. So we have Bad Blood. It is a key pay-per-view event, right? It's the first time that they're using this gimmick uh, in many, many years, right? It's the anniversary show of the inaugural one in 97, Famously, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Hell in a Cell, yeah. Now let's get to today's video. Why did they book it at bad? Uh, why did they book it on the post Bad Blood episode of Monday Night Raw? I'm so excited, I'm stumbling. Well, let's kick it to Uncle Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Uncle Dave, well, he had a little interesting note. He said, based off of fan engagement, interest, and strong ticket sales. WWE felt like, okay, we usually only book five matches on PLEs anyways. This show is almost sold out. We can't really add anything to get more business out of this event by adding Sami Zayn versus Gunther, albeit a big match. Why don't we use it as a way to boost interest and ultimately television ratings for Monday Night Raw instead? And that makes sense, right? They've been going up against the NFL the last few weeks with Monday Night Raw and absolutely getting crushed. Albeit, the last two weeks, they've been going up against two NFL games at the exact same time. Doesn't help things. But if you look at it from this viewpoint, what happens usually when WWE has post-event episodes of Monday Night Raw and SmackDown, especially Monday Night Raw? Bad Blood taking place two days prior to Monday Night Raw they get a boost in ratings because people want to see what is the fallout between what happened at Bad Blood and going forward. Where are they going with the current storylines in which they have and or building up new storylines? So, you have Bad Blood fallout. You have one NFL game this week. Most likely going to be a blowout. I believe it's the Chiefs and the Saints. Why not have Gunther and Sami Zayn on that card? I love it. I love it. As a viewer, oh, and by the way, I forgot the, one of the biggest reasons of all, I, I, my apologies. This week, October 7th, Monday Night Raw goes back to two hours, no more three hours. So fans, laps fans, casual fans, they may check, check out Raw just to see, okay, what's different about this show? What's the layout of this show now? Is it a better show? It has to be, right? We're going from three hours to two. There's a lot of factors as to why more people will be tuning into Monday Night Raw. And oh, by the way, hey, hey, y'all, we have a huge world title match 
with one of our most popular and over baby faces on the entire roster. He's going to be challenging for the world title. We're going to put it in the main event. It's only two hours. That's all we're asking. You don't have to stay up way late. You can still see the end of the football game. Come back. Check us out in the main event. We'll make it worth your wild. You count all those into consideration. That questionable booking decision by Triple H and Co. I'm fine with it. I like it. I think it's great. It makes sense. There's so many pros to it. There's not enough cons to out justify the fact that they did it. I love it. If they can do that more often, give me a reason to tune into your show, right? Like they do that good or or, or, or quite well, I should say, with Friday Night SmackDown and the Bloodline storyline, right? I think most people would agree. Why do you tune into SmackDown? I want to see what the next development in the Bloodline saga. Why do you turn into Monday Night Raw? CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, the rise of Jey Uso, the continuance of Sami Zayn. Like I look at my, and this is actually kind of a knock on AEW, and it's a knock on on NXT. I used to cover NXT on a weekly basis for multiple years for SE Scoops. Once I stopped covering that show, I stopped watching that show. It's very difficult for me to get into that show. I just don't like it. It's not for me. It's just not for me. I find myself, I have to force myself to check out AEW. Why? Well, it's not because it's necessarily bad in-ring product. They have some of the greatest wrestlers in the world. There's not a reason for me to tune in. There's not a reason for me to go out of my way. Gunther, Sami Zayn, Monday Night Raw, world title on the line. This match is so good, we didn't want to get it watered down by just adding it to the pay-per-view card, taking away time. Now, that's interesting. That's interesting. Now, the only con that I see this match having, and I think most of you would agree with this, but this is just the reality of the situation, having a long title match, well, you're going to have commercial breaks in the middle of it. That's going to hurt the pacing of it from a viewer standpoint because they're going to have to work through commercials unless they do side-by-side, and I guess you could do that. But I don't know about y'all. I like side-by-side, but when it comes to pro wrestling, unlike other sports, like I'm a NASCAR guy, NASCAR, side-by-side, it's really not that big of a deal. I tune out the announcers anyways. But when I watch pro wrestling, I want to hear what the crowd is doing in the arena. How are they reacting to the match and the moves and the psychology, right? You don't have that. I think it takes away from the flow of it. And you know when you're attending the show live when they're in commercial breaks, right? A lot of submissions. You dump outside. You taunt. It's a it's a heel just beat down. So we'll see. We'll see. But I, I, I got no problem with it, y'all. 